The simple acronym that sums up what's wrong with social media is called BUMMER. Remember Jaron Lanier, that blue-haired guy we looked at for a couple of devotions ago, describing the problems with technology? He says that social media is a bummer. It is behaviors of users modified and made into empires for rent. He says that the things that are tracking us are using our information to sell and to make money. Do you like being used? Do you like being manipulated? Do you like being controlled? Do you like being made into an empire for rent? This article was written in 2018. How much more when things are controlling us on our wrists, on our doorbell, on our smart speakers, wherever else? Maybe social media isn't so kind to us after all. Maybe it's not neutral, but actually negative. That would be Mr. Lanier's point. I'm starting to agree with him more and more. Maybe Proverbs 26 would speak to that social media world we're living in. Like one who seizes a dog by his ears, is a passerby who meddles and quarrels not his own. I can't say I've seized a dog by his ears, but I, I never wanted to because I, I know what would happen if I grab a dog. And yet, I've tried to meddle in things not my own. Isn't that what social media does? I meddle in things not my own. I get involved in so many things that I don't have the capacity to process. And how does that work for us? Does it make it feel better or sad? It's maybe social media in some sense is maybe as foolish as grabbing a dog by its ears because you're not pleasing the dog, you're just getting bit. Social media can be a bummer for us, but scripture gives us warnings applicable at all times and all technologies that we don't need to meddle in the affairs of others. We need comfort and strength from God alone. Think about that the next time you want to log on or click.